Howdy there, folks! How are y'all doing? My name is Reason. Welcome to Stranded and Dying on Mars. Where last time, last weekend, I I got stuck on Mars. I didn't know how to get off of Mars, so I just haven't played since. But I've gotten some fantastic feedback from you folks. Uh, some people suggested we use the command GC Houston to teleport us back to Earth. I didn't want to do that because there's also just a dimensional teleport command I could use. Both of those feel a little bit cheap. I was trying to avoid that. I wanted to find a real solution to the problem. I brainstormed a couple, executed on them, but then I got a comment from a couple of folks, actually, who said, why don't you just use golden apples? And I said, you know what? That's a good idea. We're going to give it a try. I've not actually tested this. I don't actually know if this will work, but it's worth a shot. Let's just see what happens when we eat a golden apple. So that's going to give us way more hearts. That's going to heal us up immediately. Oh, look at, th oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. We're invincible. We're not actually invincible, though. So we kind of abandoned this place partway through. We got to come back to it. But first, let's go set up an oxygen place to get oxygen in. That's what you would call that. That's the that's the official title. So we're go we're going to make a waypoint. We're going to call it come back here. And I was holding down... Oh, caps lock was on. I was going to say I was holding down shift that whole time. And it made it all lowercase. That's perfectly fine. That's totally fine. Come back here. And now we need to travel back up to, I guess, where we landed. Which is probably over here. I know we built a little pillar of glowstone. This is where we came out of our first dungeon. That's our first dungeon. It's up in here somewhere. And the reason I want to go back to there is because... Uh, that is going to be, I think, more often than not, where we actually land when we come back to Mars in the future. Oh, wait a minute. Is this going to work? I just realized, if I'm not hungry, can I eat a golden apple? Yeah, of course I can. Okay, good. Everything is fine. Everything is awesome. We're totally going to tank this. We're, we're perfectly fine. This is not ideal circumstances, but things could be worse. We're just going to keep zooming in this general direction. Once we get back, we'll plant some trees, we'll put up some oxygen collection, we're gonna be okay. Are we gonna build it at ground level? Hard to say. I did just realize that we have a massive Klein Star Omega full of energy. Why do we not just keep Swift Wolf's Rending Gale on at all times? Repelling monsters and keeping them at a distance from us? I mean, I know we've been using the torches, and they work, and they're great, and we're gonna keep using the torches, but we don't have to use the torches, all right, so it should be in this general area. This all looks vaguely familiar. What am I talking about? Everything on Mars has looked the same so far. I can't distinguish one landmark from another. What I'm looking for right now is that pillar of glowstone we built, which should be in this general vicinity. And I'm not seeing it, but mostly because the world's just not loading. Sometimes if you, like, look away, you pause, or you bring up a menu, when you look back, something useful will have happened. Not so much, though. Not so much. By the way, yeah, I'm still uh, congested. I've been sick now for over three weeks. It's just a cold. I mean, I'm, I'm not debilitated in any way. I I'm getting by just fine. It's just, it's unpleasant. No one likes it. It's not fun to be sick. There's our glowstone. I don't want to be sick. I'd, I'd rather be healthy, but this is just where we're at and what we're doing. So I guess we'll build... I I do I want to build in this little valley here? This feels unsafe. With the walls all around? I'm not sure if that's... Is that liquid... Is that liquid water? Well, I mean, it's, it's obviously not liquid. It's ice, but... That's water. On the surface of Mars. We found it! We did it! NASA! You're welcome! Take, my, take down my coordinates. <laughs> Negative 241, positive 1,296. You're gonna find... You're gonna find water. It's gonna be great. Oh, there's more here! Oh my gosh, there's so much more here! Look at this! There's a whole cave system! This is wild! Okay, I gotta blow my nose. In case you were wondering, yes, I am medicated. You know, I'm no fool. I am, I am, I am medicated. But it's just, it's not super helping all that much. Let's go build on top of this hill. This seems like as good a place as any to plant some trees. Get rid of these music discs, these cans of food, and we will hold on to... I guess a dash stick. Apparently there's like an unbuilder or something we can craft. This is from a comment that I received. Uh, and that will allow us to break down some of this like dash armor that we found and construct it into a new rocket. Okay, my inventory is full of junk. I'm going to 
Actually, yeah, let's leave that on. Let's just repel monsters. I don't care. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna grab some big chests. I'm thinking uh, obsidian ones ought to do just fine. And we can place a couple of these down and fill them up with random moon materials that, let's be honest, we don't need or want. Put all the blocks inside of this one. And then over here, inside of this one, we will put all of the other things. Don't worry, I'm not gonna let myself die. I'm paying attention. I know it seems like I'm not paying attention, but I am paying attention, I promise. Dash-related gear can also go in here. And everything we need for oxygen can wait inside of here. Why do I have an extra oxygen tank? Is that is that one of mine? Why, why do I have that? Was that part of some wacky plan I had to always have one, like, charging up and ready to go? Maybe the plan should actually be I always have one charging up and ready to go. And then also, I also always have one just in my backpack for when I'm not paying attention in the future. That would be, that would be great. Planting trees is actually unnecessary, remember? What we really should be doing, now that I think about it, is probably just putting down leaves. But I don't feel like I'm in any particular rush anymore, you know? I, it, we're kind of sorted for, uh, for oxygen. We're not gonna run out anytime soon, so I'm not really all that pressed. I guess I should correct that. We've already run out of oxygen. But, we're not gonna die. We're gonna be fine. We're just gonna keep taking hits with the golden apples <laughs> until I've got the setup where I want it, and then we'll get our oxygen. We're pretty much immune up here until then. Or until we run out of EMC. That's always possible, too. You know, this is sort of an emergency situation we found ourselves in. And if we didn't have... Just... Why, why does this stuff not make noise when I pick it up? Ooh, I forgot I'm in big pickup mode. Need, need to keep that in mind. Right, medium voltage solar panel and an MFE. So we'll throw this bad boy down. Where's the sun? How much? How many hours of sunlight do we even have left? Is, is there even sun? It's over there, and I guess it's going down. Yeah, okay, so we should probably stop talking, throw that thing down, and get this thing filling up, because we're gonna run out of juice soon. And then I did throw all of the oxygen. Oh, shoot. No, I, I said I wouldn't let ourselves die. I said I'd be paying attention, and I am. <laughs> Ignore any evidence to the contrary. Okay. Oxygen collector. Put it down right there. Oxygen compressor. Put it down right there. Oxygen storage module. Put that down right there. And then we should have also the oxygen bubble distributor. Which we will put down right here. And this is a bad setup. I don't know what I'm doing. The sun is setting. The darkness is consuming us. We need to have... There we go, some repellents around. I did bring glass fiber cables, fortunately. So we should be able to power all of this. So we're going to start up by getting this powered up. I think that's going to be our first step. And that should start to draw in oxygen. Hello? Not enough leaf blocks? I, did I build trees that are too big? Is that the problem? Probably so. Maybe acacia was a poor choice. Here, here's what we'll do, okay? We're gonna get a stack of acacia leaves. And we're going to say, hey, you know what? Maybe the acacia tree here is a little bit different than most of them. And uh, it grows leaves further down. Okay, what a delightfully unique acacia tree we have. 72 per second. That's not a lot, but you know what? It's certainly better than nothing. This is an electrical cable. I think I've done that a couple of times now. There we go. So, that should start filling up. This is gonna run out of power is the only issue. Oh, hi! Stay away from me, thank you. Yeah, you ain't getting no light no more. Go away. Go away. Hear me? Go away. Nobody wants you here. I believe my ring also should protect me from the arrows. So, yeah, it genuinely cannot shoot me. I'm repelling the monster, and I'm repelling all of its attacks. In the same way that the torches does. So that's nice. So all this is still running right now off the MFE, which is good. I don't think we're going to hook up the oxygen bubble distributor at this time. Because the extra power is just not worth it. We're going to hook this up, though. And we're going to bring in power from over here. So that's full, and we can start filling up a tank. Which is beautiful. We love to see that happening. Meanwhile, I'm going to take the four furnaces that I got out of the transmutation tablet. And I'm going to put iron in there, and I'm going to make refined iron. 
We're losing power pretty quickly now. Fortunately, we did get a good little buffer in there. I wish I had thought to set up the MFE and the 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 the, the solar panel. Like, first things first. I wish I had thought about that. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we no longer have an invalid oxygen setup. I am, however, very congested and once again need to blow my nose. One thing I don't like about having the cold is that it makes me sound uninterested in everything that I do, because I just have this sort of doubter, congested voice where I'm just like, Oh no, I guess we'll do this. I'm actually excited to be on Mars! It's cool! I dig it. I wish I could breathe. So that'll give me four machine blocks. Now I need to get a stack of ten. Some redstone. Building generators so that we can get more power and, and get more oxygen. In case that wasn't clear. This isn't even part of my cheap power scheme that I've been executing. I just, I genuinely, we need to get more power in order to survive. Ah! Oh, the ring was turned off. Why was the ring? No! Why was the ring turned off? Oh, I tried to get away. I did try to get away. <sighs> Wait, what? Hold on. Did I did I just do what I think I did? No, okay. There's a bit more oxygen left in there, fortunately. We can fill up this other tank. That's that is an unfortunate loss. Um go away. Go just go away. Can't you see the pain and devastation this has caused me? Can't you just leave me alone? Look look at what's happened here. We've lost our oxygen collector. <laughs> At least the sun's coming back up. So, I guess we really don't need, you know, the generators after all. Let's... Should we just go home? Has it just been... Can we... This whole Martian trip's been a disaster. We're gonna run out of oxygen next. Oh good, that tank is full though. Okay, what I would like to do before we go home is I would like to, in an ideal world, locate another dungeon or go finish the one that we just abandoned earlier i want to go find the schematic for the tier three rocket now we'll leave that on what am i doing so i think that's what i'll do next i'm gonna leave all of this stuff behind and we're gonna go back to that dungeon and we're gonna tr see what's at the end of it i think all of this should be fine now you know i've put down some additional torches to repel the forces of darkness. <laughs> I'm trying to destroy my stuff. <laughs> Maybe I'll add one more right there just to be sure. And in fact, we'll add one more like in here as well. There we go. Make extra sure all of this stuff is secured. And, and maybe in fact, we'll add another one. First off, what, what happened here? This one should really be right here. This one should really be right there. Okay, okay what am I doing? Let's go! We've got, a, we've got three full tanks of oxygen. A stack of gold apples is largely unnecessary now and, and quite expensive. Maybe we'll just get some regular apples. Lovely. Back to the dungeon. Okay, there's our hole in the ground. And now that I've got, you know, Swift Wolves running Gale on, repelling monsters, I don't really think there's any reason for me to, uh, oh! Oh, I did clear this one out. That's right, I remember the episode more clearly now. We didn't find anything useful. Okay then! We've come back for no particular reason. We will mark this one off with some torches so that we'll know we've been here before. That should make it glow nice and bright. And that should also come up on the actual mini-map. It does not. They, they do not. That's fine. I need to get something that actually shows up on the mini-map when I look at it. What about, like, yellow wool? If I get yellow wool and I mix it in there with the lights, will that create something that is, you know, visually distinguishable? on the map. I mean, it looks awful. It's disgusting. We're making a whole mess of the Martian landscape, but yeah, okay, we've been there. The reason I went with yellow is because it's the same color as the glowstone torches, but I'm almost wondering if we shouldn't use a different color wool. I was going to say maybe green wool, right? To represent the fact that we've cleared it. 
You know, because green is, is good. It's good to go. What? What is this? Weird. Okay, we've made green wool. We made it in an unnecessarily expensive manner. And now we can surround this thing with it. Okay, there we go. Surrounded the whole thing with green wool. Yeah, look at that. That looks great. Okay, time to find more of these. Is that one literally right there? It is. Okay. Didn't go quite so crazy on this one when it came to the wool. Just made a nice circle. Put down some torches. And uh, in we go. And with the ring repelling literally every enemy we come across... In the same way as the torches, there's really no reason to use the interdiction torches. Watch this, we'll just charge through here. Repel both of these losers out of the way. Continue on our, our journey. In fact, we could fly if we wanted to. And again, there's no real reason to put down torches either. Look, just herd everyone out of our way. And, and here we go with the monster. This is a remarkably challenging fight, although I wonder if it'll be easier can they actually hit me with one of those when I have this thing on? Yes. But also, I can run them up the wall. If I get close enough. Like, underneath them, I think? Okay, maybe not. That would be funny, though. All the bosses in this mod are just a little bit of a pain in the neck to fight. Not difficult. Just a pain in the neck. Good riddance. It has no neck. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, did I get a key? Yes, I did indeed. Will this be the key that lets me leave Mars? No. <laughs> From above, it looks like the top of a Mario uh, pipe, you know. Burp, burp, burp. You're familiar. And here we go again. Oh, another one bites the dust. Yeah, another one down, another one down, another one bites the dust. Oh, the little creepers creep me out, man. I don't like him. You know what I don't like more? The inability to breathe through my nostril. Tier 3 rocket, baby! We are done on this accursed world. We can, we can leave now, put the dash away. Ooh, there's another one, like, right here next to where I am. But I think I'm ready to go. Zoom, do 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 zoom, do 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 zoom, zoom, zib, zab. All I want to do is launch off from hab. Zib, zib, a do, zib, zib, a do, zib, zib, do be d. Would you like to fly away with me? I've lost my mind now. I think it's plain to see. Are those lads for these two? Just to add that nice bit of light. I don't actually know if the fuel loader needs to be centered. We'll, we'll put it right there in place of that torch that I just put down. Here's hoping the power maintains long enough for it to fuel up the rocket. Because that would be very unfortunate if it ran out of fuel part way through. I've not seen any, like, comets or, or asteroids, or meteorites, or anything fall out of the sky since we've been here. Although it kind of looks like that might be one over here. Then again, it could have been here the whole time. I'm not sure. I don't know if we're going to get the same thing. Oh, no, that's just a yellow slime egg. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Oh, my goodness. Unnamed. Uh, yellow. That's your name. You, you are what you look like. It's it's not original. Oh, wait, I got a better name. Cheese. <laughs> Come on, cheese. All right, cheese, listen. Where'd you go? Did you fast travel over here? Come here, cheese. Cheese. I want you to, uh, to sit and just wait here for a bit. Okay, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna come back to this planet someday, I promise. The reason I was wondering, though, about whether or not there were asteroids is because I thought I might just build an above-ground Martian base here. Just kind of cap all of this off as the big above-ground Martian base. Do an actual oxygen sealer and all that. I thought that could be fun. But, I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to figure that out later. I'm not really interested in hanging around here for much longer. Uh, remember, we don't even really need a moon base. Don't really care about being on the moon. Because all I needed was a place to hang out while I waited for meteors to fall out of the sky. And in terms of dash, I don't know. We might have enough dash from just these things here. I've not mined up any dash, but I've got, you know, unrefined dash, dash sticks, frag... Frag... That, that's not related. 
I've got a bunch of dash armor that we could break down. So we'll see. We'll see. Do you have fuel? Are you ready to go? Get me off of this rock. I want to go home. And then go take a nap. Because I'm not really feeling it right now. I'm not 100%. I can't breathe through my nostrils. I keep blowing my nose, but it just fills back up! Alright. Overworld. Take me home. Uh, oh, good. I didn't think that we had a parachute anymore. I guess it doesn't get used up. I guess you just always have it. And now we're flying with a parachute. So that's a, that's weird. That's a bit broken. This is not where I anticipated landing. This isn't... We should be landing over there. Why are we landing here? In, in, almost on Andesite Island. Surrounded by monsters. Oh, this is awkward. Hi, guys. How are y'all doing? Y'all having a good one? Why is my chest down here? Stop shooting me! Go away! Get away from me. Get away from me, all of you. Get some buckets. And we'll get whatever bit of fuel we can get out of here. One, two... The rest of that's gonna be lost forever. We'll just go ahead and collect this, uh... If we can. Are we gonna die down here from, like, lack of, what, oxygen? Like, come on. That's pretty lame. Considering how we survived on Mars, I, I would be actually ashamed if we then died here on Earth. Maybe we need this to do it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Out of here we go! And we're home. And it's lovely. Hi, Napier. Oh, wait, Napier? Wait a minute. I know we passed him on the way in. I'm not crazy, am I? Oh, there he is. I guess he just went for a walk or something. Oh, we're repelling him. Goodness gracious. So sorry, Napier. I didn't realize. So sorry. Didn't mean to. Oh, that's funny. Okay, well, it's been about an hour since I was recording. I got up and I went to the kitchen. I was losing my mind because I couldn't breathe. So I've already taken medication. There's not really anything else I can do. If that's not going to work, what else do I mean? I can't just take more. There's limits on this stuff. And I was like, okay, well, I've got a wild and wacky idea. I, I got a kettle and I filled it with water and I set it to boil and I just sat there and I inhaled the steam from a safe enough distance that I wasn't burning my nostril or anything like that. But I kind of helped a little bit, but not a lot. So then I went and I took a shower and I just stood in the hot water and let it hit my face. And I tried to breathe and that helped a little, but not a lot. Then I went back to the kettle, and I did that a little bit more, and it helped, but I knew that as soon as I walked away from it, my ability to breathe would be gone again, and that's where we are now. I can breathe mostly through my right nostril. My left one is completely sealed shut. I don't, I don't, it's not like it's full. I think what's actually happening is it doesn't really have anything to do with, uh, we'll say mucus. I think it's more so... The actual, like, maybe something swollen, like the the, the, the the passages or whatever are swollen up. And that's why no matter how much I blow my nose, nothing really changes. Because it's not like there's something blocking it. It's just, it's swollen up. And I don't know what to do about that. Other than to just stick my face into a Vicks Vapor Rub vat and keep it there. But that is, again, not a permanent solution. Uh, none of that's really relevant to what we're doing here, I guess, is it? None of that really has anything to do with anything. Are we gonna- what are we doing? Wh why- what- what are we doing? I don't know what we're doing. Oh, you know what? I got a lot of comments about the world spike. Apparently what we gotta do is we gotta get Ender Pearl dust, which makes- maybe makes sense? I, people said Ender Pearls at first, and then everyone came back and was like, no, 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 Reese, Reese, Reese. You gotta get the Ender Pearl dust is what you gotta do. And I guess we're going to go ahead and give that a try, see if we can't. I mean, right now that thing's on the moon, which I don't really know if we need a world spike on the moon. Oh, I should probably fill in these holes in the ground, too. This this button's got to go. This button is broken. It doesn't work right. We're going to just get a normal button. What have we got in here? Maybe a wooden one? Maybe a stone one? I mean, this one looks like a stone one more often than not. It's just a wee bit broken. It's, it's a bit weird. There we go. Alright, welcome to, uh, the moon. Oh yeah, look at that! 
<laughs> if we just hover over it! Someone recommended I do that. They said just hover over it. And I was like, mm, okay. So, point 0.5, is that like 30 minutes? Yeah. So, if I just pile that in there, that's going to be eight hours worth of, of world spiking. But then there was another option, which was to use void powder. Which I think someone else commented about. I got a lot of comments about this. Void powder is a combination of coal dust, obsidian dust, and ender powder. And it'll get us a full hour. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say that that might be worth it. If we don't remember to check this and replenish the ender powder. Only because, I mean, I'm assuming, maybe that stuff stacks up to 64. A stack of it would be 64 hours. I don't know. I, I don't know if ender powder goes up higher than 60. Like a stack of ender pearls. Oh, shoot. Right, we probably don't have enough power. A stack of ender pearls is like 16, but maybe ender pearl dust can go up higher. See, the only issue is now we have to wait for all of this to replenish this. Because that thing wasn't going before. Or, you know what we probably could do? Probably could just unload all this stuff from our inventory. And that would probably work as well. Just toss all that in here. And then I reckon we probably have enough juice to go. No, still not. Hmm. We have our EU reader. What do we What do we need? Oh, you know what? I just realized that we probably... It's counting all of this Martian gear that we have as well. I don't know if it's actually counting any of this stuff. It might be. It might be. I'm not sure. Let's put all this away. Oh, shoot. We can't put it all away. What do we have in here that we can get rid of? Wait a minute. I forgot. We got this here. Perfect. Perfect. All right. That's uh, a bit lower. Uh oh. Oh, right, right, right. No, that's fine. That's fine. There we go. Yeah, see, this button's broken now, too. I, I don't know what the deal is with... Oh, shoot. Where's my bag? Did I put my bag in the... <laughs> I did. <laughs> I never thought we'd see the day, folks. But I always told y'all, it's important to make sure that you can navigate your bases without magic. Because you never know when you're going to find yourself in a situation when you're going to have to do that exact thing. And you're going to be grateful that you took the time to build a really long ladder out to the top and a couple of staircases to climb. Because, gosh darn it, no one wants to be stuck at, at level four, the bottom of the world, with no tools and no building blocks. Can you imagine? It sounds like an absolute nightmare. But fortunately, see, I thought ahead for all this. I was prepared. There we go. Oh, jeez. My armor took a beating on Mars. I had no idea. <sighs> Just trying to organize things a little bit, because it's all a wee bit chaotic around here. I've got a bunch of stuff in a bunch of places that it ought not be in. And it all just needs to be tidied up as quickly as possible so we can carry on. This has been a very difficult episode for me. Not because I haven't recorded sick before. I mean, I've recorded episodes of this series sick before. But I think I've just been stuffy and an icky feeling for so long now that I'm actually kind of furious with the situation. I'm angry. I'm outraged. I'm ready to be well and to be able to breathe, and it's very distracting. So, let me pick a thing. <sighs> That's what we're gonna do. Let's build some more world spikes. It's not a very difficult recipe, really, to build the standard world spike. And, uh, obviously we've done it before. So, now we just need to get some more ender pearls. And we're gonna grab a few stacks of these, because we're gonna need a few of them moving forward. So... We're going to go ahead and get those started churning up. But then also, if we want to build the void powder, uh, we're going to need to grind up some coal and some obsidian. Now, coal, we've got grounded up. We have tons and tons of the... Uh, the oh, don't sneeze. No. No. Oh, we have tons and tons of... The, once I start sneezing, I can't stop. Obsidian, though. Get that going. This should be churning away nice and quick. Real speedy stuff. This does go to a full stack. That's 32 hours worth right there. But then if we combine it with these other ingredients... Oh, well, then that's where the real magic happens, isn't it? Hey. Hello. Thank you. Jeez. <laughs> oh, darn it! I was hoping I was gonna avoid that. <laughs> yep, yeah, yep, yeah, nope. It's not stopping now. It's just going. Here we go. 
Alright, so we've got a stack of everything here. Stack of coal, stack of obsidian, stack of... No, no, no. <laughs> oh, dang it. That'll actually give us three stacks of void powder, which is crazy. I guess I probably want to keep this down here, right? Where all the power generation is taking place and where this is going. I want to keep that going for sure. According to the wiki, this thing will load a... 3x3 three three area in terms of chunks. So nine, nine, 9 chunks, I guess. I don't know. I'll plop it down right there. I'll put a stack of that in there. You can only put 16 in. That is a shame. Well, that'll keep it running for 16 hours. I'll just have to remember to come back here. How are my uh, devious operations going? How, how are we looking inside of here in terms of... Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And each one of those, <laughs> oh yeah. Actually, we probably need a bit of a refresher. It's been it's been some time, hasn't it? There we go. Nuclear power, it's going well. Um, in terms of fuel, yeah, we got some time. Someone recommended that we use a watch of flowing time to speed some of these things up. And my only issue there is I know that sometimes that can break machines. Machines don't really like watches of flowing time so much. I think it probably has to do with cables getting overclocked and things. I mean, there's certainly some situations where I can imagine that being useful. Dang it, my nose is stopped up again. We'll do that in the future, mark my word. The plural. For mark my words, all of them. Let's go back and see if this one is working on moon base. So, this one should still be activated. Yep, time is draining. And if we have a look underneath here... Look at that! That's starting to actually fill up! That's great! And then, how are everything... How are everything? How is everything going down here? These are starting, yep, still going with the charcoal blocks. Cool! So, these are... Why are you not running? Did I not configure you correctly? What is your deal? Literally, all of the other machines are working fine. What happened to you? Oh! I must not have set up that uh, hopper correctly. Well, now I'm going to have to do some sort of a surgery here to get around behind it and actually fix it. Hold on, I'm going to figure this out. There we go. So, crouch and place. And it should be configured correctly now. Yes. Patch all of this back up. And we will probably leave out the ceiling because we're backed into an awkward position. Whee! Get rid of that. And now they're all running. That one extra one going, that's an additional 10 EU per tick. It's helpful, trust me, even if it doesn't seem like it. What we eventually want to do is get to a point where we have all the MFSUs filled and we don't have to worry about emptying our inventories when we want to teleport back and forth. You know, it'll just uh, work just fine. How you doing? Good. Looks like we are pretty consistently using the oxygen. Which is, yeah, this is neither filling up nor emptying? I don't know about that. How much are you producing? 214. And then how much are you consuming down here? What are you doing? You're using 160. This thing isn't running, it's not doing anything. We put that in there. Are you going to start dropping? Like, can you not maintain your current... Uh, uh, all of this setup's a bit wonky to me. There's no direction to any of this. I don't know what we're doing. Tier 3 rocket. Look at that. What is... This is Tier 2. Why is it even up there? Tier 3 one looks cool. Look, I like it. It's got a, a heavy nose cone. Heavy rocket fins. Still the Tier 1 booster. Look at this, though! What do we need? Compressed dash? Dash ingot? Block of dash? So, unrefined dash can be cooked up into a dash ingot. Which can, I assume, then be crafted into a, a block of dash. But we don't really need a block of dash, we just need the dash ingot. Here's that deconstructor I was talking about that we got a comment. Uh, referring to. So we're gonna go ahead and probably build one of those here soon, so hopefully we can take apart that armor. Uh, we're going to pull this out and replace it with some of that. And you know what we could probably do? Man, you know what? If we were wise, this is what we would do. Check this out. We can get a hopper. 
And then maybe this will work. I don't, we'll see. Can we hook that up into there? And then possibly, if we put a stack of that in there... Yeah! There we go! So now as it burns through these, it'll automatically be restocked from inside of here. That's still going. Okay, never mind. No, hold on. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. Where were those going? Where they go... What? Did we just lose a bunch of... Okay, well... <sighs> Maybe, maybe not as good an idea as I had I thought. I did not realize that it would just consume them into oblivion. That is unfortunate. Oh, well. We did our best. Let's let's go home. I think acacia wood? I got a comment about these, and I think it said that acacia wood was the best to use for, uh, for getting latex. But whether or not that is accurate, I cannot say. What am I doing... What, what, what am I doing in this episode? I feel like a, a, a directionless boy. Let's try to hide all these cables. That was planned for a previous episode. I think we can do it using construction foam, which there's also the construction foam sprayer, as well as an electric construction foam sprayer. I don't really know how all this works. I read a, a Wikipedia article about it over a week ago. Most of that information is gone from my mind, but now seems like as fun a time as any to just wing it, you know? We need a bit of water, a bit of clay dust, a bit of redstone, and a bit of charcoal dust. Not coal dust, mind you. This is a different thing. This is charcoal dust. So we're going to get a stack of charcoal. Actually, we'll get a stack of charcoal blocks. That'll probably work. And in, and in fact, this might be a, a really clever trick here. Let's see what this does. So that's going to give us... Yeah! It does nine at a time because it's a stack. It's actually brilliant. It's, it's, this is one of my better ideas. So we'll get our charcoal dust out of there. And then we will combine that with the redstone, as previously mentioned. Clay dust is just clay in a macerator. So hopefully we've had clay before. Well, we've had individual clay balls, which we can turn into clay blocks. Which we can teach to here and get a stack of those. And then once again do uh, this maneuver, where I try to there we go swap those out in real time you just got to hold down shift and left click twice and that first the shift left click removes the items let go of shift and left click to place the items it's a whole thing i'm getting pretty good at it though stack of that and then the last thing that we need is water and i know that a uh, can empty water cell stack because that's probably going to be the easiest way to do this let's find out i know you can't stack buckets We'll come over here to this lovely little tranquil pool, tucked away from everything and everybody, and we will see. Yep, those stack. So now I just gotta sit here and do this another 55, 54, 53, 52, 50 times, baby. So now we combine all of these objects together, and I'm hoping it's shapeless, because I'm doing it wrong. Yeah, that'll give us our construction foam! And then I don't really know whether or not it's necessary to have the construction foam sprayer. I don't know if we can just put this stuff in there ourselves. I have to assume you need the sprayer. Nope, you can just right click it. Right into place. Well then what function does the sprayer have? The recipe for the sprayer is so simple that I, I would almost feel negligent. <laughs> If I didn't just build the darn thing and try it out here. So there it is. How do I do how do I fill it with the construction foam? Or do I just need it in my inventory? Do I craft them together in some way? Apparently we can compress construction foam into pellets. And then the pellets will will get you more for your money, basically. So let's see here. I I, I haven't even double check this. I'm just assuming we put it inside of a compressor, a singularity compressor. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So our 64 construction foam made 64 pellets, and apparently each one of these is good for, I think, 12 blocks of CF fo uh, foam when it's placed inside of our sprayer. Oh, do we have to do this each time? Okay, well, we probably don't need that many. So if I come down here and we just... Oh, wow. And then just right click there. Yeah, look at that. And this one's already hardened into a construction foam wall. This is cool. And now we we can also build an electric one if we feel so inclined. But what we need to build next is the obs, obs, obscurator. 
obscura obscurator, which is how we're going to actually make these blocks around here match these blocks over here. We could start doing this up here as well. We could place these uh, glass fiber cables into the marble and then disguise it to match. Although, I have always liked having these uh, these layup outlines. Although, I didn't do it with this block. I kind of failed there. So, a piston. Need two of those. We also need two Minecraft buttons. And then, I'm pretty sure we probably have at least one. We do not. I don't see it anywhere. I can manufacture one, though, real quick. There we go. Energy crystal. From there, we just need the advanced circuits. Some glass. It it seems to really want... Does it need... Can it just be regular glass? It's cycling through so many different things. It probably just wants some regular glass. Painting. I don't have any of those. We've not had a need to build those. What an odd recipe. Uh, have I ever built a painting in Minecraft before? <laughs> You've watched my series extensively and you know the answer to that question. Comment down below and let me know. I have no memory of it. I was going to say, we might have everything we need inside of here to just make one of these. <laughs> That's always good. That's always satisfying. Oh, one of these needs to be a sticky piston. Naturally, of course it does. And voila! Everything you need to build your Obscurator, which needs power. And now that I think about it, I really need to charge up my armor and all of my tools too. So we're just going to have a little bit of a stand right here and let that happen. Right, so apparently I just click on this. Right click, left click. Hold down shift and right click. H have I done it? And then we right click on that. Oh! Oh, I guess we probably can't do it to the still drying uh, foam. So the foam does take some time to dry. I want to make sure that we do... I don't think I actually have to shift, do I? Apparently I do. And then you just right-click. I think it uses something like 1500 EU. Maybe every time we place one of those down. Hold on, I've actually got the wiki open here. Let's see what it says. All right. Uh, Right-click on a block, then it will consume 10,000 EU and create a copy of that texture that you clicked on. It will copy up to a complexity of 10 layers. Then you write foam on construction, uses 1500 EU, yeah, to, to cover the dried up construction foam. Looks good. And then I think that we can use not sandstone, but sand to very quickly... Yeah, just right-click the sand in there, and it'll very quickly dry up the construction foam. Oh, that one did take the uh, texture. It just hadn't dried yet, so you couldn't... S <laughs> Another dangerous thing in my inventory. Awesome! Okay, cool, so we've got all our cables hidden now. Looks really good. That's CF foam and the CF sprayer. Great for hiding cables, which is very good to know. Why do I keep flying up and down from here when I have a teleporter? Why do I keep doing that? <laughs> Earlier in this episode! <laughs> when I said we were stuck down here, we could have just teleported out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, folks, I don't know what's going on anymore. Oh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and build a teleporter to Mars. And I'm going to do that between now and next episode. And I'm not going to do it this episode. Because I don't feel good. I don't know. I guess I could just keep the camera rolling. I, I don't have to talk much, right? I can just I can just keep working on it. So I got four generators to help out with power generation on Mars. Just when the uh, you know sun goes away. And then there is an MFE up there, but we're gonna want an MFSU if we're also going to have a teleporter. It's so trivial. <laughs> <laughs> it's so trivial <laughs> using using this setup here.
Uh, teleporter, though, might be a little bit more tricky only because I don't think we have what we need for that. And it's really coming down to looks like rubber. So probably just throw rubber in there. And then the next thing it's going to be complaining about is redstone. So probably we're just going to throw some redstone in there. And then, yeah, we got a teleporter. We're going to need two, though. And then now that I think about it, we will need two MMFSUs. One for Earth and one for, for Mars. This is, uh... Not really the sort of difficult endeavor I thought it would be. Building both of these was a lot quicker because we have the recipes kind of ready to go. So, right now I'm creating a new little area to have the teleporter set up. Mars. Lovely. We will put down a button. And then we will confirm that this is powering up. Get out our... Frequency transmitter. I think hold down shift and right click so it should be affiliated with anything now. So right click, frequency transmitter linked to teleporter. Love to see that. Now we just go back to bars. And you. You still have fuel in you, but you're not hooked up to anything. I think I keep taking this thing's power away from it. <laughs> we're gonna leave it here permanently this time. We're not gonna we're not gonna run off with it anymore. So there we go. When the sun comes up, that should start filling up. And it should start fueling this thing up. I, d does it need to? How are you doing? Are, are you filling up yet? I really don't understand sometimes how this thing works. Because it's like right now, you can't stop loading. You, I guess just because it's out of fuel, whatever. Sorry, out of energy, I should say. It's confusing when I say out of fuel because it's literally a fuel loader. And it does have fuel in it. But uh, we'll go to bed, and with the rising of the sun, that'll start charging up, and then the last thing we need to do is get a new oxygen collector, and go ahead and bring that with us. A stack of redstone, and then I know we're going to need various cans, I think. Uh, what are we missing? I'm going to go ahead and say I know that we need two of these, so I'll make two of those, and then this is going to be good to go. This requires one of these, that's why I said we're going to need two of them, and... Oxygen collector. That was quick and painless. Leave these things behind. No need to take them with me. Uh, I keep finding Endermen in my base, and I don't understand it. They're, they keep showing up, and I have no idea why. They're looking for something. Okay, oxygen is... Er, I'm sorry, fuel, and the rocket is ready to go. Do I have all my gear? I forgot to charge up my armor. But I think it's going to be okay. I think we're fine. We're just going to take off. Everything will be okay here. No need to panic. No need to worry about it. It's all fine. Everything's fine. Everything's good. Everything is awesome. This will never not be funny. <laughs> this will never not be ridiculously funny. We are bouncing so far away. Let's turn this on. Get these guys away from me. Leave me alone. Oh my gosh! It's our little yellow fella! Oh my goodness, good to see you, Cheese. Okay, we're not that far away from base, so I think we're gonna be okay. Let's extract the goods from here. We will get the obligatory two buckets of fuel. I know that's how much is in there, no more, no less. A master and an apprentice. And then we will... And we'll leave that, there's no reason not to leave it, right? Come on, Cheese, let's get back to our house. Way over here. We're gonna go ahead and turn this off so that we don't repel Cheese as soon as he spawns in. Hey Cheese, how you doing? You having a good time? Okay. Oxygen collector. And then we have to power that back up. There we go. That'll start going. And then I think we're probably... Maybe this is a bit preemptive, but I think we're probably good. Go ahead and plug this thing in and get it going. Although I don't know if we have enough leaves. We might have to end up artificially placing down more leaves, but that's an MFSU. Oxygen bubble distributor. And then our wrench for that should be inside of here. Good. I was a little bit worried that maybe I left it on Earth, but no. And we'll plug it in. That is the wrong type of cable. I do that. I think pretty consistently. I'm consistently good at doing that wrong. That's using 160, and we are consuming <laughs> 90. <laughs> <laughs> no! Okay, we'll have to get some more leaves. So what are we at? So that's 90. So I think we determined that every one leaf is like an additional two oxygen per second. Although that one did nothing. That one also did nothing. 
Um. Why? Oh, there we go. Suddenly, now it's working. 116. We gotta get to at least... At least 160 so we can maintain. And actually, we need to get it to more than that. I don't think it likes the blocks being right on top of itself, so we will get rid of those. I don't know if it actually needs a gap in order to function, but we're gonna give it one and see if this eh, kind of negatively impacted it. But if I keep putting like blocks over here though, so we're at 152, and now that puts us at 158. 164 to 160. We're producing 168, which means we're technically producing more than we are consuming, which means we should see this, yeah, go up. And it is going up, and that's what we like to see. Do we feel like acacia leaves are sufficient to stop a falling meteorite? Because the Wikipedia said that meteorites would still fall on Mars, and I don't want them to take out my oxygen stuff. So I'm building a bit of a house out of leaves. Which sounds like the name of an amazing horror film, House of Leaves. I like it. I wouldn't watch it, it sounds scary, but... I mean, it sounds cool too. If it were a video game, House of Leaves, I would probably watch the Scary Game Squad play it. I myself would not. There we go, so we've got all that tucked in there. 240, more than enough, more than enough! Fuel, I mean, power's doing good. We could get rid of these because I would have had just brought a generators. Some of you may remember that I didn't want to ruin the tranquility of the mood with some ugly construction, so I literally undid all of our construction that was uh, on the mood and moved everything underground. I feel differently about Mars. It's not quite as tranquil and lovely, so I don't really care about filling it with machines and trees and grass. Hey. Look, we can make this super compact now that I think about it. Yeah, okay. Get the charcoal, and we start doing this little number here. There we go. And just in time for night to start falling, we have some supplementary power going with our solar, which is great to see. And we'll cap all of this off with some leaves to keep it all Keep it all safe <laughs> from falling meteorites. There we go. This is all temporary. None of this is permanent. This is all temporary. This is collecting 332 now, though, so we're doing great. Oh, you're probably blocked now, aren't you, now that I think about it? You're not going to get any sunlight through, through solid leaves. Okay, we're taking a bit of a risk here to break open the wrong the wrong spot. There we go. So you should be getting uh, sunlight now. Yeah, that's perfect. All temporary. We'll build a proper Martian base at a later date, but for now, this absurdity will do. Can you, I mean, do you like oxygen or do you want to just sit here and stop following me around? Uh, that'll be fine. Okay. We've got our teleporter and we'll put it there. MFSU right there. Got to pipe some power into it, maybe right along inside of here. There we go, that'll start filling up rapidly. And then we just need to pair them together. Excellent, teleportation link is established. Get ourselves a bouton and plop it down somewhere along here. Can I just like put it on here? And then when I stand on it, if I right-click, will it teleport me? Well, no, it won't right now. Obviously, it won't do it right now, because right now, if we wanted to teleport, we would need quite a bit of power. Hang on, we need more, uh, we need more leaves, because this isn't actually covered. It would be terrible if a meteorite fell out of the sky and took all this out, so there we go. Yeah, just keep all that nice and covered. Okay. If we get rid of everything, how about now? <laughs> oh boy, that is still an expensive trip back home. We're getting there though. You know what I just thought about is that with a chunk loader on the moon, it's possible that meteorites will just fall out of the sky on the moon when we're not there to see it happen, which means it's possible the moon base might be destroyed, but it seems unlikely. Oh, okay, I just learned something interesting. So I took off all of my Martian gear uh, and put myself at extreme risk of damage from the sun. 
but it did actually help me any. So take a look at that and keep that in mind. The uh, 537,600. I go in here and I put all that back on. Still 537,600. It doesn't care about that like it does my, my normal uh, clothing. We can head out of here now, though. So goodbye, Mars. I hate you. Didn't enjoy being stuck there. I'll tell you that much. But this should... <laughs> It's already full. Good. Well, folks, I think next time we'll build everything we need to go to Venus. And I will actually read the wiki article about Venus before we go. So we'll be ready for whatever we might need when we get there. We're not going to be taken by surprise by anything. We might even go ahead and bring everything we need to teleport with us next time. So we can just have that all set up in one go. And I have to ferry ourselves back and forth. But just having a look in here to see if I can see. And we did find another type of uh another type of suit, didn't we? The isothermal chest piece. That's it. So this is going to also require dash. So we're gonna need a lot of dash. That's what I'm learning here. An Orion drive? Oh my. What are that's for? That was wacky. I just, I heard it dying and I was like, where's that coming from? I saw the fire coming through there. Then when it died, I was able to pick up its stuff. It's really dark, actually, now that I think about it. Hey, thank you folks for watching. God bless you. I'm gonna go try to blow my nose again and then stick my face in some more steam. Bye!